We're here at the Fight Stars Championship. Bout number nine of the evening is Josh Mottram from Alliance in Derby. He's taking on Louis Lee Scott from AVT. We've seen a fair bit of Louis Lee Scott and he looks a prospect. Yeah, very good prospect, Louis. Undefeated in MMA so far and he's fought uh, much more experienced guys. Mottram, another more experienced guy, very good fighter. Uh, you know, he's picked up some titles regionally. That was a beautiful pivot off there with the left hook. Yes. Mottram with the experience, 7 and 4, 11 fights, Louis 2 and 0. But yeah. wants the tough test. He you know, had a long career as a junior in um, Thai boxing. Decided to focus his efforts on MMA. Well, Mottram needs to try and work his way and he can't come forward just in a straight line. With nice pivots like that from Louis and a counter. That's better work from Mottram, fainting. Fainted to the takedown. Louis, nice under up there, blocks another takedown attempt, but a good trip from Mottram. That's the right plan for Mottram in my book. Lands inside control. Yeah, and this is a good position if he can control from this position. He's going to work out to the back. Yeah, Make Louis up to his feet, might be able to throw him off. There's no hooks in. He's got the one hook in now, gets the second one. This is where the experience comes in, the 11 fights you were talking about. Yeah, exactly. Louis has got to keep fighting the arm. He doesn't want Mottram to be able to sink the choke in. He's got to keep control of the wrist, just as he is doing. Mottram looking to change to the other arm. Yeah, like a spider monkey, Mottram climbing up uh, Louis there. And this isn't easy, carrying someone's weight like that, but Louis could try and tip him over the front. You see there, fight in the arms. Fight as he's holding on. And like you said, Louis having to carry that weight as he does it. He yeah. walks over to his corner to hear head coach. And it's quite quite draining there, holding somebody's weight up and fighting the choke up at the same time. But he's doing a good job of keeping the choking arm away from his neck at the moment. Well, he, he did a good job there of walking over to coach Danny Mitchell so he can hear the instructions as they go, but that's looking yeah. uh, working that under. Looks in it's on the chin at the moment, not all the way under. Louis still fighting it. This is fantastic work from Mottram, really putting the pressure on and looking for that finish. Oh, he's still trying to fight that yeah. and he's done well to get the choke yeah. off. And he's got one of the hooks out. Yeah, and there he goes, that all the way out. It's fantastic work. Good work from Louis. Mottram's had a good opportunity there to finish the fight. Hasn't been able to. And now Louis working some and knees from the clinch. Solid knees in the clinch there from Louis. He'll, he'll want to disengage, but another good trip from Mottram, but Louis not letting him uh, take top control this time. Good shots coming in, Louis quietly oh, under him. Solid shot. Big pro Scott crowd as well, waiting him on. Big see shots that coming in. Experience. That was a great right hand. What a first round, Jay. That was an excellent first there round. There wasn't much missing from that round. No, and you know, Louis came into that round late, Mottram had his back, looked like he was going to finish him at any point. Louis defensively came on and then almost looked like he rocked his man near the end. Very exciting first round. How disheartening is it going to be to be so close to finishing and then having the round finish like that? Yeah, I mean, but that's it's got to have um, a few things there got to warn Louis out a little bit. He's only a young lad, he's 17, I'm sure he's got plenty of gas left, but he spent a lot of that round carrying Mottram's weight around like a backpack. Yeah, exactly. And while he was having to defend with his arms, he was working his arms to, to, to defend the choke, but also having to carry his weight at the same time. That will, should have taken, well, will have taken a lot out of him. But still looked like he had plenty in the tank at the end of the round. He was the one attacking like some anger. big shots. <laughs> it was, that's was frustration coming out. I mean, Mottram will feel confident that he can get to that position, but Louis escaped it now. I'm sure he's pretty confident as well that he can do the damage. Well, I think we can guess where each one is going to want this fight to be now. 
it's who can get it into their area. You can see the experience on Louis the way he moves straight away as he comes out. His footwork, his movement. Nice low kick there. I mean, you see much and fire one back, but in no way the, uh, the same low kick. Good hips from Lewitt. Mottram shot him for the double. Eats another knee to the body for his yeah. troubles. A little nod. Not yeah, that means it hurt. And and good that. pivot in there. Good Beautiful pivot, in pivot. straight onto the right hand again. Hits Mottram on the break with a hard right. Louis growing in confidence, it seems. Another yeah. big low kick. All the time he needs to be very wary. Mottram is going to shoot for the takedown at some point. Yeah, and he, he loves to either trip. Either a clinch yeah, trip, he yeah. Get, always gets that trip. So Louis needs to keep his hips and his legs away. Nice sprawl oh, there. Beautiful hips there. Louis coming out to the back. This is where he finished Warren Mason last time. He might want to disengage. But no, he stays there, landing some big knees. Watch him look for the Kimura. Oh, he's got solid punches standing here. He's got solid ground and pound. Yeah, he throws everything with power. Mottram probably fairly happy to work from a guard position. Yeah, I don't think he's be happy taking those leg kicks. To... Nice hips again from Louis. He wants to frame off and break off. That's exactly what he did. Oh, good yeah. right to the body. And Louis growing in confidence, it seems. He's stuck the takedowns. Landing good shots. That was a nice right hand that got through. Mottram still in there, trying to pick off his own shots though. Okay, Looks we'll a little bit back. dazed at the moment. He does. A bit shell shot from these punches. He's took a lot of shots and his legs are going to be really stiffening up as well from the kicks. Hey, Louis experienced in tie boxing it. You know, he, he can take the shots all day if he needs to. Good time in there. Again, watch him chopping him with punches and kicks. Mottram now mostly on the back foot. Yeah, Mottram did well to get to his feet, but he just looks a little rattled at the moment, doesn't he? Yeah, on the back foot, eating the shots. Nice knee to the body. And another knee, and Mottram's yeah. down. This is That's, it. He's done him, he's done him there. That Beautiful knee to the body set that one up there. Beautiful work. Perfect landing. There's some great knees to the body. And I think it's a knee to the solar plexus there. That's done Mottram in. A few shots on the ground to finish it. But he's shown a lot. Come through some adversity in the first round. Picked off an excellent finish in the second. He will certainly learn a lot more from that fight than he has from his previous two. I think to come through that and to come through from where he was and get that good solid win will do the world of good. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. Two minutes, 31 seconds in round two. The referee, Paul Rossi, comes out of the contest, and your winner, I take care.